Hi, we are on week three. And uh, what am I doing now? Now you must be familiar with what I'm doing, right? I'm doing what is called the recap of week two. Now, I know that you did important, uh, rather we did important stuff in uh, week two. We did function and context and strategy. We did uh, approaches to biomimicry. We looked at two types of approaches. One is nature to solution and problem to solution. Nature, nature uh, appro approach is important because it helps you say, ask yourself, how do I proceed with, with biomimicry, right? How do I, what do I do? So an approach is like a, is like a direction. You get a direction to do something. And we learned through two approaches. One approach was nature to solution. What does it mean? It means that you look at nature and it gives you an idea, you, you know, which is why one of the nice things about creativity is that you go to sleep with a problem in your head. And when you go to sleep with a problem in your head, and when you look at nature and something in nature strikes you, uh, a, a light bulb sort of goes up in your, goes out, go, goes in, go, goes into your head. And suddenly you say, wait, that problem I was thinking of yesterday, that can be solved by this, this, what, whatever I'm seeing in nature. So nature to solution means you have already got a problem somewhere in your head and when you look at nature, when you look at a lotus leaf or something like that, suddenly you get a solution. So the, the process of nature to solution starts with uh, uh, some, some observation, something in nature, and then it helps you solve a problem. So that's one direction for doing biomimicry, for solving a problem. You also saw what is called problem to solution which is what uh, most of our students, actually all our students have done the problem to solution approach, simply because of that brilliant thing you learned last time called the UNSCG. Why is the UNSCG brilliant? It's brilliant simply because it gives you ready-made problems to solve. And why is that giving you ready-made the problems to solve nice? Because the problem with creativity, and this is what is my uh, experience in teaching and in doing creativity, the problem in creativity is not generating ideas, but in looking for problems. But then when problems are given to you ready-made, it helps you approach those problems. It helps you to start solving those problems. We also learned that the emotional connect to a problem is important because emotional connect, connect helps you be emotionally involved with the problem. Problems need that emotional involvement. Otherwise, you can't solve the problem, right? We bring up our children because they are our children, right? We may want to care for neighbor's children and all that, but the priority is our children because there's an emotional connect to between us and the children. So problems need that emotional connect. Why? According to me, the UNSCG is also important because it gives you a broader mindset. It helps you understand that you are part of this world and you can use your intelligence and experience and education to solve one of those problems. It is also useful for you to remember to put the UNSCG that you're solving into your CV. Why is that important? Because you see, if I am a interviewer, if I am going to interview you, and if in your CV you have told me that you are solving the gender equality problem, I'm going to be very impressed. Why? Because, you know, not every day do you, do you meet a young person who is actually solving a world problem. And I'm definitely going to employ you because what I want in my company is a problem solver. And what you have, what you have made me know about you is that you like to solve problems, you embrace problems, you don't run away from problems. So remember the UNSCG is a, is a powerful way of expressing who you are and by expressing the attitude you have to problems. Right? So these were, you also learn function, context and strategy. That is also important because that's a very, very, uh, we will learn when we define, when we do define, we will learn how important it is to, to actually understand function, context and strategy. So these are all the things that you, you learned in week, week two. 
you know, this is important because now you will, whatever you learn in week three, you'll be able to start to connect.